Absolutely. Uh, so what's the schedule like for, uh, for LSU football today? Well, today is kind of a, an orientation. Of the, uh, you know, starting at 830, the guys are going to start checking in at uh, the West Campus uh, Activity Center uh, apartments. Uh, that, that'll go from 830 to noon. And then, uh, you know, once they get all checked in, they'll have a team meeting. They'll meet with Jack about medical stuff. They'll meet with Shelly Mullenix about different things to do some compliance work, physicals, and dinner, and then we're off and running. So it, uh, it, it'll be a quick day, and then we'll hit the practice field uh, tomorrow afternoon. They'll have walkthroughs in the morning, tomorrow morning, and then practice for the first time uh, tomorrow afternoon. So uh, it's here. You know, we've talked about it all summer, and the summer seems to get shorter and shorter, but uh, – I know this is an exciting time for everyone. One thirty today, Coach Ed Ogeron will meet with the uh, the press as uh, the final time in the off season before LSU gets on the field tomorrow. And uh, Bonnet, the sports information director, communication director over with LSU. So any type of um, any type of communication you want with the football program goes goes through Bonnet. I, I wonder. Last season, you guys were a little off the radar in the off season, kind of snuck up and, and became a real story in, during the season. This year, everybody's kind of talking about you in the off season, with high expectation going into the year. From your position, do you rather it one way or the other? Oh, well, you obviously enjoy the, the attention and, and being back in the spotlight. You know, Coach did a great job last year of, uh, you know, again, blocking out the noise. There was a lot of negativity uh, from the outside, talking about the program, you know, where we were picked to finish and whatnot. So, you know, this year it's a complete 180. Now you got to block out all the noise, talking about how great you are. And uh, but it's fun to be able to have uh, guys like Grant Delpit, Joe Burrow, uh, Richard Lawrence, guys like that in the program that uh, are getting all this national attention. I mean, it's it's fun in, in my position because you have all these national media types who want to do stories on these guys, and uh, you know, so so that that that's the fun part of it. But again, you know, you got to block out the noise to, to steal on from Coach O and, and and do your job. Or, or it'll go away quickly. So, uh, but you know, I think it's a credit to what Coach did last year uh, with this team when there were no expectations. There were the expectations were to be a middle of the pack team, and, and you know, we knew internally what we had and the potential of this team. And, and Coach did a great job of, of leading them to a, to an outstanding year, ten and three, uh, Fiesta Bowl win, top top six uh, national final ranking. So. Uh, but that just sets the bar that much higher this season. Talking to Michael Bonnet, LSU Associate AD, Communication Director. Also, my man is looking real skinny. Yep. Getting into, nowadays. Getting to his, uh, uh, back to his fighting I, weight. I, I, I appreciate the shout out on that, man. I saw you the other night, and yep. uh, I appreciate the compliment. You look great. You saw me with the otter slugging yeah. margaritas. Both of Remember us. That's, a period? that's right, yeah. Both of us. Hope Otter's doing well, man. Haven't heard from him in a couple days. He was texting me the first couple days. I think he's – who knows what he's doing. Uh, Michael, so, so you – as the sports information director, right, you have access to all the stories, all the information. Is there a story or something that you know about that like you wish was getting a little more run that you kind of want people to hear about? Well, you know, we really – Grant Delpit is getting a lot of attention, but I don't think people really, really truly realize how good he is. You know, last year Devin White was obviously the leader of the defense and, and won the butt this first-round draft pick. But when you step, take a step back and look at what Grant Delpit did for this football team, uh, and, and, you know, he is a legitimate, in our eyes, a Heisman Trophy candidate. Oh. I mean, he's every bit as deserving as Tyron was in 2011. The things that he does on the football field, you know, you look at his stats and it, he does it all. And he does it in a variety of ways. He does things that you don't expect him to do in places you don't expect him to do it. So, you know, he's a guy that we're going to certainly, he's going to get his down. He's going to get national attention. But we're going to push him just a little bit harder. Uh, you know, a guy like Boyd Cushenberry, a center, kind of a, uh, you know, a relative unknown, uh, you know, a guy that uh, we brought to SEC Media Days for a reason. We wanted to put him out there and let him get some, some attention, uh, both on a regional and national basis. But I don't think people truly realize how good Boyd and Damian Lewis, for that matter, are. Those are two guys that started every game. The only two offensive linemen that started every game for us last year, they're back this year. And I think those guys are certainly deserving of some national attention because I, I really believe they're two, two of the best uh, at their positions, in the, not only in the SEC, but nationally. Mike, Grant jumps off the field when you just turn the film on and watch you guys play. But last week, or two weeks ago in Hoover, I thought he did a, 
tremendous job for his overall brand, just the way that he yeah. represented the program. Yeah, you know, I, I will say, you know, we, we have, and T-Bob knows this, uh, although T-Bob was the last second call in from the bullpen when he went to media day. Yeah. He didn't get the full Tommy Karam impact uh, of working with Tommy Karam. These guys spent a lot of time with Tommy during the summer getting ready for media day, and they understood their responsibility. They're going there to represent LSU and our football program, but they also have a chance to enhance their brand or to create a brand. And, uh, you know, they, they took it seriously, and, uh, you know, they did a great job. I mean, they worked with Tommy a number of hours. Uh, you know, we made sure they dressed right, they looked right. They were they did everything you, you as, as uh, the sports information guy, you show up and you, you hope that everything falls into place. But from the way they dressed, to the way they acted, to their responses to questions, they hit it out of the ballpark. So it, it was a great day for all three of those guys. I think it's reflective on Coach O and the program that he's building here at LSU. Who gets 18? Oh. I'm sorry? Who gets 18? We'll find out tonight. Ooh, uh, sorry, man. try to get that fastball mm. by him. Come on, come yeah, on, Mike. Yeah. Give us a little bit. We need a little scoopage <laughs> no, here in the I, morning. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't divulge to that. I have a good idea. I have who I think it's going to be, but I don't know. So this what? is always uh, a fun day to find out who gets 18. And uh, I'm on a text string with all the 18 from years uh, past, so. There's a lot of anticipation, and there's been a lot of banter between in the text about who's, who they think is going to get it. So that'll be answered tonight at the team meeting. What's that process like? You know, it's a it's a it's an internal decision with uh, Coach O and, and others, and uh, you know, you, you want someone to wear a team that is certainly going to represent that number and the guys that have worn it before him. And uh, you know, it's maybe not necessarily your biggest star or, or somebody that. Uh, you know, is, is a guy getting a lot of attention, but it's, it's a great teammate, a guy that is going to do things the right way, whether the cameras on him or not, whether he's being, whether he's on the way to call him or on the football field. So, uh, you know, it's one of those, it, it's just a, a number reflective of how we want all of our guys to represent LSU uh, when they're playing, when they're away from football, and in their daily life. So, I, I, I got to. It'll be somebody that, that'll wear the number well. You and Shringfeller are great resources for, for where the program has come from. Uh, you guys remember the days when the, when the players were busing over from Tiger Stadium to the practice fields for, for practice. Now you have the state-of-the-art facility to report to every day. What, what, what's that do for the program, and what's that like? Well, it's going to certainly make it more efficient for all of us, I think, to have everything in one spot uh, to where they can have their meals and not have to walk across campus. Uh, those pods in the dressing room are just fantastic where they will be able to, to catch a nap or do whatever they need to do, especially during camp when the days are obviously very, very long. But uh, and, and obviously you see right away from recruiting the things that it, it's a, it's an attention getter. And, look, we want to get the best players in the state of Louisiana. There's no doubt about it. But Coach O understands that in, in, in order to compete nationally, you got to recruit nationally. And we're trying to get the best players. Uh, from across the country, and I certainly think that when you put a facility out there like we have now, it gets the attention from players coast to coast, so, and that's what it takes. I mean, as you know, recruiting is the life of a program, and uh, you know you, you got to have facilities uh, like that uh, to be able to compete. And uh, we're certainly, if there's a better one out there, I'd like to see it. Yeah. I, you know, it's uh, it's fantastic. It's absolutely gorgeous. On Twitter. Mississippi State's Rivers? Uh, is that, is that they, they better? They revealed yeah. it yesterday, huh? Let down for Rivers. It looked pretty nice. It On Twitter, nice. at LSU Bonnet, another season of LSU football gets going today with the Tigers reporting to campus on the field tomorrow. We'll see you at one thirty, man. Thank you for the time right, this morning. Guys. Okay, thank you so much. Yep. Michael Bonnet, LSU Associate AD, Communications Director. We'll be back and close that hour number one.